everyone's been asking. So here is my aerator setup. I don't like spoon tines. I would not recommend doing this for anybody, uh, mainly because the weight of the tractor and the weight of the aerator are not right. So we've got a 2010 X744. It's about somewhere between 1,000 and 1,100 pounds. And the aerator on the back is 860 pounds, I believe. It's a John Deere AirCore 1000. Um, you need the whole nine weight weight bar. I do not have weights in the tires, and this is all wheel steer. Two wheel drive to balance everything out. Regular 26 by 12, 12 tires. And here's the my old AirCore 1000. Just take this stuff off, and this is how all it runs, just some belts. There's very few moving parts in here, although they're going to be a pain in the butt if something does break. Um, tines break first. If you've never used a professional turf aerator like this, be prepared to buy a lot of tines. You know, they're between $8 and $12 a piece, depending on what you're using, and as you somebody's gonna notice I uh, got mismatched tines here I screwed up when I ordered them so soft soil break a lot of tines the big problem with this is getting it on the stand it needs a minimum lift height I figured of about 26 inches and the X series three-point hitch only goes up to 22 at best so I've actually welded on an additional five inches of brackets, bracket and lowered the three point of the pins, which makes the driveline angle when you lift it up messy for the PTO. I would, yes, you can pull this off and you can do it with this seven series. Yes, you could do it with the 1025, but I would not recommend it. It needs to be at least the big two series it's not a horsepower. We only need 18 horsepower to run this thing, and we got a 24 horsepower EMR engine. But it's all about getting the aerator higher off the ground because of the mounting points. So you probably need at least a 29-inch tire just to make sure you have the three-point hitch lift capacity. So let's get making this thing work.